and we're live welcome back to another episode of the wasp nest man we back again killing it bringing y'all the fires content on the internet man thank you for tapping in man what's happening mike what's going on with you my brother man we back again man i keep uh, i'm i'm excited for these every week uh we doing it again week eight episode eight man we bringing y'all some more content man i'm, I'm have, i had a good week good work week good, i'm off good. man so i'm just enjoying my off days what's going on with you uh you know man same old shit man family work uh kids you know just the whole the whole shebang um healing up pretty good my leg still uh my leg about like <laughs> maybe <laughs> uh, i'll say my leg is a good like 60 percent. i'm still 40 percent disabled right now so um we all good man i think another week or two should uh should do it man my um you know healed up very well so other than that man everything been good man I'm, I'm, week I'm, or two, uh, you'll be back at it. <laughs> week or two, I should be. You'll be, you'll be skating. You'll be skating again. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're right. And then I'm about to go. And then I'm about to go retackle that hill. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go. I'm about to go do it again, man. <laughs> yeah, so, man, you uh, gotta conquer it, man. You have to. absolutely. But yeah, let's get right into the let's get right into the content, man. So, um, I don't. This shit just happened, bro. So, um, there was a big brawl at the. Um, Jake Paul, Nate Diaz press conference. I don't know if you've seen that on your feed, but it's going viral right now. And uh, I'm going to play it, and then we're going we gonna to commentate, man, because I think part of me think this shit is scripted because um, that fight has not been getting the, um, you know, the... I, I guess the the press that, it, that, it, that a lot of people expected. They expected this fight to be a lot bigger, and mm -hmm. it's not really getting there. So I think this shit was planned. Um, however, so uh, Jake Paul responded to to the um, to this shit happening. We're gonna play the response afterwards, but let's play this, and um, I'm I'm gonna tell you who I think started this shit, bro. But let's go ahead and get it. You can hear it and see it. Yeah. So look, watch this nigga right here. This big black ball nigga. Watch. <laughs> he started all this shit. And just for context, this is uh th this is Jake Paul's uh one of his one of his bodyguards. Oh, okay. Look, look, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Watch. See, look, look, he's shoving, yeah. he's shoving. Look, he's look, look, look. Nate, Nate Diaz team on this side. You know, yeah. it, it's a little it's a little rough, but watch watch when he when he shove him, that's when this shit get real raw. Watch. Look, look, look. He's, he's shoving. And then this nigga right here, watch him. I'm 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 gonna commentate and we're gonna let it play through. But this nigga right here, watch it. He's gonna swing, but he's swinging because this nigga's hell of aggressive. Watch. Yeah. Boom, oh. swung. And that shit got real. Look, they they trying to pull this nigga back. He just he just trying to go in. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, it does. Look, look, look at it's this it nigga's fault, bro. Ain't too much holding that big nigga fault. back. Yeah, that part. <laughs> All right, so look, I'm gonna play it from the top, man, and then we go let it play yeah. without me talking. But yeah, let's get it. Yeah, so part of me, part of me, uh, think that this shit was scripted, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie, and the reason why I think that is because I know that um, this fight, like I said, is not getting the hype that that it was supposed to. You feel me? So, uh, what's your thoughts on it, man? You think that shit was scripted, or you think it's legit? Um, I since it was the security guard, I don't think it it was scripted. Um, okay. I think okay. it was. I mean, it's. Like, I mean, technically, I mean, you, could, you could tell the. <laughs> we, you could tell the guard like, like little, hey, get rowdy. We got a little yeah. undercar fight right, right there. A little preview <laughs> for undercar right there. But right. uh, no, nah, that was. Uh, that just seemed like uh, he just probably was getting a little overzealous. I think he was just the security was just getting a little too. 
you know, he was using the, the, as you see in the video, he was using his body weight, pushing people around and, you know, just kind of like muscling his way through there. So um, you pointed out the the other guy um, ended up swinging at, you know, swinging on him or whatever because of how the you know, that that one guy was acting. So it just kind of, you know, I think that was just a, a, a snowball effect of him just amping up the scene, amping up the, the situation. So agreed agreed it gets like that sometimes at this especially with these with the, at these uh you know these uh weigh-ins and things heated. like that it, it definitely gets heated. gets heated so uh mm -hmm. we've seen you know fighters take off on each other so it's not too far-fetched to, to see one of the you know some of these security guards that you know for these mma and uh professionals and these boxers and stuff like they actually train themselves as well so it's mm -hmm. like you know um so they they, they have that fighting spirit a lot of them so i'm not surprised All right. All right, let's play the uh, let's play Jake Paul's response to this. He's blaming the Nate Diaz team, of course. Well, wait, uh, I would, before you play it, that's yeah. uh, you said the the security guard, the one that uh, started the situation, that was Jake Paul's security. Yeah, that's Jake Paul's okay. that's Jake Paul's right. team. So, but uh, he Jake Paul responded, and he's blaming um, he's blaming uh, Nick. I mean Nate Diaz's team, but from that video, Nate Diaz, the, the dude on, on on Nate Diaz squad, he did throw a punch, but he threw a punch. As a result of that nigga pushing and you know doing extras, you know what I mean? But uh let's let's play this shit right here. This is his response. You guys are not going to believe this. I swear on everything. Nate's team, the guy who swung first, who got pieced up after he swung first, is now getting lawyers involved, emailing my team to claim assault. The big bad Stockton gangsters who swung first are trying to get lawyers involved to claim assault. He's apparently has to get stitches and go to the hospital. Boo hoo, you fucking bitch. You swung first. This is embarrassing. You guys are. <laughs> Shit, kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like I mean, I, said, man, did, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Man. If he, if the guy didn't swing, even though he was pushing, it, it seemed like everybody was pushing in that situation. So I guess if right. he didn't swing, it wasn't really any room or necessary, you know, it wasn't any need for it. Because once you take it to that step, now I can see if, right. you know, uh, as opposed to that guy just pushing everybody around he actually swung on somebody but since the security on nate diaz's team ended up throwing the first punch i can see why how that can be a problem because like i said that that takes it to another level the pushing and all that stuff like i said like at weigh-ins you get that you you know people i think that was would be a part of the and maybe up until that point it was scripted you know maybe that that's what they were sure, planning sure. on doing like we're gonna push and shove and you know get the fight all amped up right but once the you know oh boy swung it just made it it took it to another level so um yeah i think he might have probably lost his cool now that i now that i really think think on it yeah but pushing pushing is a sign that's that's assault man. you can't just push somebody it is you know it is but technical. i mean but you know no, I, yeah that's definitely grounds you know as far as to to defend yourself but For like sure. i said everybody on that stage was pushing each other you know what i'm saying i don't think that that in particular guard was focused in on the guy who swung on him Nah, nah, you know what I mean? But, like, so, but I just yeah, think so that, like, that level of so aggression. Like, now, if it was now, if he now, let's say the first person that was right, you know, the immediate person right in front of him, if he had him hemmed up and he was pushing him and, and that guy swung on him. But for the guy behind you to swing, you know what I mean? It's like, right. Either you can either because I mean, yeah, it's assault, but then you can look at it also like anybody he can claim like, self-defense, as as, honestly. I mean, he, he can, can claim self-defense, but if looking at that footage, me looking at it, I would think that authorities would look at that and say, you could have easily stepped out of the way and removed yourself from that situation. Cause he, he wasn't, yeah. he wasn't the immediate, the yeah, person yeah, yeah, who started sure. the assault wasn't the immediate person in, in danger. The only people who were really in danger were the people who were right there in front of that dude that, yeah, that he was actually putting hands on pushing and stuff like that. And they right. didn't swing. They were just pushing okay. back. So like I said, I think right. that was up that up until that point, it was scripted. But once he yeah. started swinging, now it's like, oh, okay, now it's a real fight now. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. All I can say is they needed this. They needed this press, man. Because like I said, yeah, the, hype for this, the hype for this fight was dying. And, I, and I'm definitely, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm going to watch this shit, bro. But I, I, to be honest, I haven't been hearing no major media outlets, you know, especially the fight coming up in what, three days or two days. And you don't even hear no talks about it. Now you do, which I think this was genius. You know what I'm saying? If assuming it was it was uh, orchestrated, you know what I mean? I think this was exactly what they needed to bring the hype back for this fight. But it's it's funny, though. I feel like everywhere Jake Paul go, especially when it comes to these press conferences, there's always drama and always uh, some extra shit going on. But yeah.